Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Prime by B3 Cornhole. Now, I received a ton of questions about this bag, and this bag, as of the upload of this video, has not been released yet, but it will be in a couple of days. But I wanted to go ahead and get a review out to let you guys know about the bag so you can make a decision if you wanted to go buy a set when they release or not. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's break these primes down. Start with the slow side. This is a carpet bag. This is that herringbone carpet, same material you find on the slow side, the Fatal. It's a, it's a wonderful material. It's very player friendly. It's it's a it's a material you can manipulate. I, I call it a five speed. However, you can manipulate from like a four to a six on in most conditions. So if you like the bags to play slower, rough them up, get them dirtier, get this material really fuzzed up, it'll play slower. If you like your bags a little faster, keep it clean, keep the dirt off it, keep the sweat and grime, clean them frequently, kind of shave these fuzzies down. You can play like a five and a half, maybe six speed on them, but for the most part, most part, they play about a five speed. Um, I throw my bags outdoors. I throw on concrete. They get roughed up pretty quickly. So mine play more like a four and a half ish, four to four and a half. But but in that four and a half to five range. So five speed on the slow side, fast side. This is the same material you find on the slow side of the B3 Mach 2, Mach 2.5. It's the fast side of the B3 Infiltrator, I believe. Hope I got that right. It's the slow side of the Coronal Sierra Cat 2. It's the fast side of the Titan Talon, the fast side of the Fly Raven. It's a wonderful material. It's not used a ton, but I love this material. It plays about a seven speed. It's controllable, but fast. It's great for pushing, collecting. It plays pretty well in humidity. I mean, it will slow down a little bit, but it, it's not bad. It doesn't slow down as much as like that, that Viking fast side material does. So I, I do like it. It gives it a nice soft feel. So I really like the way the back plays. So five, seven speed on this. It's more of a, this is more of a control style bag than say with the Fatal is. And I'll get jump into the Fatal here in a moment and, and compare the two bags, tell you the differences of them. Let's go ahead and finish talking about this bag here real quick. The the template on this, this is the medium template, pretty much that standard template B3 uses. It's a medium amount of fill, medium flop in here. So the bags aren't super floppy. They've got, they've got flop to them. They're not crazy floppy. This is no, they're by far not the floppiest bag. In fact, it's not quite as floppy as the Fatal. And part of the reason is this fast side material is a little thicker. It's a thicker material than what the Fatal uses on the fast side, which gives the back a, a, just ever so slightly more volume. So you, it, it has a little bit of a fuller feel to it, even though it has the same template, same fill. It still has a slightly fuller feel to it. So if you if you feel like the Fatals are a little too floppy for you, this Prime might be the perfect bag. The fill in here is that Hyper Blend, that three-part blend that, that B3 is, uses in, in the Fatal in the um, Decimator 2 I reviewed. The Mach 2.5 uses it. Uh, several of their bags are starting to use it. I really love this Hyper Blend. It's an active, it's a feel that gives the bag a lot of movement, a lot of activity. It really helps you shape shots with it, but it's not overly bouncy. It's not a, a, a feel that's hard to control. It still has a little bit of forgiveness to it. Now, I will say on that line it, that this bag, this material, this hair material in, in, in any cases has a kick to it if you don't put the flash of bags. You add a little bit of a bouncy, a little bit of a of a, some fill that has some movement to it, you're going to get some kick. So if you don't throw the flask of bags, this bag will kick on you. But also understand that that kick leads to the bag being very cuttable. I love the control I have with this bag. So it's that trade off that you get. You're you're you're, you're losing you're you're losing forgiveness on the landing, but you're gaining control on the shot shape on that side. So it is a, it is a little bit of um something to be aware of. If you've thrown the fatal, if you've thrown the wizard, if you've thrown some of the other hair and you, you you know that kick is there. I also love the fill, the bounce there. This feel gives this bag, uh, helps with the whole fluidness. Yeah, I'm, I may be in the minority here, but to me, this herringbone carpet is not, uh, by itself, it's not that whole friendly. Right? It, it has a tendency to want to hang in the hole. You throw bags like the Fallout X, a Sorcerer, that have that flat fill in there, those bags tend to hang more than they do, than they want to drip in there. However, when you add this this mixed blend fill, a fill that has beads in here, you gain whole friendliness. You also have that performance liner on the back side or the inside of the herringbone carpet. So you've got that really super slick material that aids the whole friendliness. So this bag has more of a tendency to want to slide in the hole than say a traditional herringbone carpet that doesn't have the performance liner or doesn't have some beads in the fill or some sort of mixed fill. So all in all, I, I think I think this bag, a bag like this really needs a mixed fill like this and really needs this performance liner. So I love the way it plays. Now their bags are still going to hang. But this bag is very collectible because it is fuller. And before I jump to playability, I do want to spend just one quick moment here to discuss the differences between the Fatal and the Primes. I know I'm going to get that question a ton. As far as I can tell, it's the same same slow side material. It's the same fill, same performance liner, same template, same amount of fill. All that's the same. The only difference is the fast side materials. You've got a 9-speed material here. you got a 7-speed material. So this is more of a control bag. Uh, this has got a little bit more speed to it. Now, that material also, as I mentioned, this bag, this this Fatal, is going to be floppier. This is a floppier bag. Now, I've thrown these a ton. These these bags have gotten beat up, so they have a ton of flop to them. But I, that thinner material gives the bag a little more flop. When you add a thicker material, 
you're taking away some of that flop. You're adding just ever so slightly a little more volume in the bag. So, so if you don't like the flop of the fatal, again, you might like this prime. It just has a little fuller feel to it. The other thing I would say is between juice between the two is how well you are, how comfortable you are collecting bags. If you feel like you need a faster material to push through and collect those blockers, you want the fatal. If you like a slower material, maybe you throw a little harder. If you're a harder thrower, this prime is phenomenal. If you play on fast boards, this prime is perfect. This would be more for slower boards or players who have more of a higher arc, a little softer landing bag that maybe makes it maybe this seven speed trail is not enough to push through, but this nine speed is what you need. So that's the big difference of the two is what fast side material you want, as well as how much flop you want, or how if you like a fuller feeling bag between the two. So I hope that helps narrow down the, the choices there. Anyway, jumping to playability here. This bag is a it's a very versatile bag. You, you can do a ton with it. You can throw blockers up there. It's, it's controllable. You can put a blocker up there. You, you, it makes a wonderful blocker. It's big enough. It, it, it takes up a ton of space. It, it's sticky enough that it can cause bags to kick off if you're not if you're not comfortable pushing through. So you can cause your opponent to make mistakes. It's a full enough bag that it's very easy to collect. You're just clipping a corner and taking it. Like this bag doesn't accordion up at all. So very collectible. You add in, like I said, the, the promise liner and this mixed fill in here, and you get those bags up near the hole. Even if they stop and hang, if you get a bag to come across, clip it, you can take them in. They're going to fall in. I had no, I didn't, I don't really feel like I left any bags hanging unless it was my fourth bag and I just threw it off and it didn't grab. I, I, um, the the forgiveness of this bag, I will say this bag, maybe because it's slightly fuller, it doesn't have quite as much drip in this corner like that Fatal has or a floppier bag. So I felt like there was a couple of times where a bag would skip over the edge of the hole. And, and that was because I missed, right? If I if I threw the bag right, it was going in. If I missed a little off the left or right, if I get enough of the bag to get there, it would grab, spin, and come right back. I had no problem with that. But sometimes just that little corner, if it, if it wasn't if it wasn't more than just a little bit of a corner, sometimes it would catch and spin and sit on the back or or spin or kind of skip right over as opposed to something like the Fatal where you've got more of a drip here on this corner. It wants to grab and spin around and come back in because it is a looser bag. So so be aware of that. But I, I, again, I'm, I'm nitpicking there. Now, on that other side of that, right? So you're losing a little bit of that forgiveness as far as the the whole, your, your, your shriek in the landing zone, just, just ever so slightly from the fatal. But what you're gaining with this bag, to me, what I love this bag is the ability to shape shots. I can cut this bag so much easier than that fatal because it, it, it has... It's, it, it is a fuller feeling. It has a little more volume because, or it's not as floppy. So to me, floppier bags are harder to shape shot. Floppier bags are harder to cut, harder to flop, harder to roll. This is a bag to me, if I want to play more of a, if I'm playing someone as a dirty style game and I know I got to get around their bags, I don't want to go through them. I, this is why I want to pull the prime out because I can throw cuts. I can get around them easier than what I could with the fatal. If I want to just push through their bags, maybe I pull a fatal axe. I know I'm fast and fast. I can push through, no problem. But honestly, I have no problem. This fast side is plenty fast for me to push through. I like to control this fast side. Maybe I just want to go hole for hole and the boards are just a little, a little sticky, a little too sticky for the slow side. So I can flip it over, go hole for hole with the fast side. And then when I want to throw a blocker, flip the back over and throw the slow side to put a blocker up there. This is a great bag for me to go hole for hole. It's the perfect speed. I can play my game. I can go hole for hole. If I throw the bag a little short in the board, or not quite hard enough, it'll stop and becomes a blocker. And, and then I can just collect it very easily. And I can usually collect on slow side, unless it's my last bag, I flip it over and push through and take it through. But I, I love the control I have on both sides. I feel like I can utilize and play both sides. When I throw something like, like the Fatal or something that has a fast, like a nine speed fast side, I'm only throwing the fast side when I want to collect, when I want to push. When I have a bag like this that has a controllable fast side, I can I can flip it over and I can, maybe my fourth bag, I just want to make sure the bag goes in. I don't want to run the risk of leading it short. I'll flip it over and throw slick side and I know I can put it in and I'm not really scared of the bag flying off the back. I know I still have control and that's why I love a bag like the Prime. So that leads me to an availability. b 3 is website, b3cornhole.com. Be a link down in the description for you guys. And these bags, as I, as I mentioned earlier, these bags are not yet available on the website, but they will be. They're showing out of stock, but they will be here in a couple of days. So check back on Friday the 20th. I think it's when they were, I'm not sure what time, but that's when they were being released. You get the bags. They're $79.95, so 80 bucks. B3 has free shipping, so 80 bucks shipped to you. Phenomenal price. Even better if you use code MB10, MB10, you get 10% off that. So you get a set of bags shipped to you for $72, or just under $72. Phenomenal price. I, I, I think I'm afraid to mention, but these are ACO stamped, as you can see here. So if you're playing ACO events, these are approved for that. So definitely get yourself a set of primes. I, I highly, if you like the fatals, but like I said, you want a more control bag, the prime is what you're looking for. Once you get yourself a set and you throw them, I love to hear your feedback. I always love to hear what you guys like and don't like as well. I thank you guys so much for support, and I thank you for watching.